You know that saying, in every crisis there is a chance. And this is as well true for the SARS-CoV-2 pandemic, because it delivered us insights into the epidemiology of foodborne diseases in Germany. Ursula and me, Petra, we are risk managers at the German Food Safety Authority. And during our day-to-day -day work, we look at numbers of infections of uh, diseases that are often foodborne. And we compare these data as well with the cumulative data that we saw for uh, the year before. And when the SARS-CoV-2 pandemic hit Germany in 2020 and in spring, containment measures were taken, such as um, contact restrictions, closure of restaurants, better hand hygiene. And these containment measures as well influenced uh, the number of infectious diseases, but in a very different way. For example, looking at the number of listeriosis cases in Germany, you can see that nothing has changed. So you see the same number of infections in 2020 than in 2019. On the other hand, if we look at the data for norovirus infections, we can see um, that these dropped to a very low level as soon as the containment measures were taken. And then we have salmonellosis and campylobacteriosis. These are two infectious diseases uh, that usually show in Germany a huge summer peak. And if we look at the data for salmonella, we see that the summer peak was almost flattened. But this was not the case for campylobacteriosis cases. Here we still see a peak in summer. And this enables us um, to come up with a hypothesis on uh, the exposure pathways um, of these uh, infectious diseases and we can see which part of it is foodborne, for example. And with having this information, we hopefully will be able in future to better prevent and control foodborne diseases in Germany. So, whenever you have questions and you are interested in this subject, please come and meet us in the section One Life.